Once Human is a game that doesn't like to explain everything. <laughs> and one of the game designs that probably could use a little work are all the different menus. Pretty much anyone I talk to agrees that they are always seemingly finding something new in the menus because there's just so much to them. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the top things that I think you should pay attention to in the menus. This is not gonna be all inclusive to absolutely everything. And because the menus are the way they are, there may be something I have missed. So let's just make this a quick little video and get you back into Once Human. Let's go. We're just going to do a quick review of things that you already know. If you hit the K button, it'll bring up this menu. It'll have your backpack, your gear, cradle, blueprints, mods, and cosmetics. Pretty straightforward. In your backpack, there's multiple different subcategories. One of the things I find here is that people sometimes forget to go through the other subcategories and they are wondering why they're carrying so much weight. And it's not always because of materials. Uh, you can swap your gear here. This is how you access your memetics and your cradle. Here are all your blueprints. Keep in mind that if there's a gold symbol, then you have all the fragments to fuse it together and make that blueprint. Otherwise, they'll just be partials. As you see, the circle is only partially filled in. Mods, pretty self-explanatory. There's all these different subcategories. You could choose a mod to put on a gun, armor, you name it, to give you various different, to give you various different added benefits. And then cosmetics. What's nice about this game is that you can wear whatever cosmetic you want over your armor. So you can look the way you want, but still benefit from the armor. If you hit J, this is how you can access and change your tasks. This is how you can claim your journey prizes and rewards. These rectangles will be highlighted with a border of gold if there's something for you to claim. Otherwise, you can just use them to look and see what you have and have not completed yet. Survival manual is pretty much where everything's supposed to be explained. And honestly, there's a lot more here than what people realize, but it's kind of thick to go through every little thing. And then field guide. Again, a lot of people don't go here, but you can check out the deviants that you've already unlocked, the logs you picked up, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so that was a quick review. Now let's get to the really important stuff, in my opinion. If you hit escape, this is where things start to get a little tricky. If you click on what now says Manibus Novice, but in future seasons might say something different, you can see exactly what phase you're currently in. That's important because things unlock the further the season goes down. Season goals, this is actually pretty important. Within each season goal, there are tasks for you to complete in four different categories. As you see, this is where I had gotten the Xeno Purifier from the first week. As you complete these, you get Mitsuko's Marks. These will be used in the Season Shop in the top right corner. But before we get there, as you complete these, it'll unlock the prizes on the left as you reach your goals and move on. You can get Stardust and you can get <laughs> meme points. <laughs> I know that's not how they want you to say it, but I can't help but look at it in the same meme. Now in the fourth category, we have the first time I've seen one of these Seasonal Honor Butterflies to unlock. That applies to the Season Marks. I am pretty sure that this is just more cosmetic and bragging rights but if it matters to you you need to achieve these because i'm almost positive that these are unique per season so once this season is over you may not be able to get the things that are under the first butterfly back to season goals we're going to go to the season shop those mitsuko's marks you can spend here we have a rare cosmetic statue here that's worth 5,000. Now, I've not been able to play this game as much as others because I've been making videos, but that is an awful lot. You can unlock other cosmetics. This is a loot box that you randomly get one of these prizes over here. It's cheap, but you don't know what you're gonna get. You may just end up getting an activator or a grenade, you may just end up getting an emote, or you may end up getting some really cool weapon skins. Seasonal phase six is when these will unlock. You can spend your energy link points to get star crop crates. And keep in mind that your star crown will carry over to future seasons. And then phase one furniture formulas. These are special furniture items that you can guarantee to get by buying them through this shop. As you see though, they're not cheap and they cost star crown. Backing out, we're now gonna move on to season info. We start off with season transfer rules. This goes into 
somewhat detail of everything. Still leaves some questions, but it does answer a lot. Features. I believe this is an actual complete list of all the deviants that can be found and what they do. They don't necessarily tell you where to find them, but at least you know what to look for if you want something. And then the seasonal storyline is just again part of the storyline it's very basic now we move on to season mark which i already kind of showed you this is where those butterflies are in and then as you see you obtain one mark for the current year by completing season goals which is once again connecting here i know i already showed it but i just want to try to help connect those dots all right i'm gonna hit escape now we're gonna hit stardust advent which is what it currently says season two is probably going to change the name this will lead you to the battle pass. If you want to buy the battle pass, you can buy the battle pass. I have a video about the four unique items that you get if you buy the advanced battle pass, but this video, I'm not going to go through that. Tasks, this just ties in mostly with the battle pass. Uh, it's just more informational things. And then shop. This is yet another shop where you can buy other things with silver keys that you get from the battle pass. So this is a battle pass shop that as you progress, you use the keys to buy things here. Top up. This is where you can buy Christian. Christian. <laughs> this is the in-game money for the regular shop. You have to spend real money to get these coins. And I will show you that shop soon. You do not have to buy any of this stuff. It's mostly all cosmetic. And then events. This is kind of a this is kind of an important one. Right now, they have these rewards that started unlocking August 1st. All you have to do is just merely navigate here to unlock it. A lot of people don't realize it's there. Make sure you claim it. You can get cosmetics, you get starter sources, and emissary crates, which is actually pretty cool. Here on site in Wilderness Express are future ones that we don't have access to yet. Now we go to event. This is where you can connect your Twitch account. Uh, you can watch drops and earn the items that are in the squares down below. It may actually be over. I don't know because I've completed it weeks ago. So the screens look like this ever since for me. The new cosmetics. This is essentially just a way to show off a, the brand new cosmetics that they just released. So this is just the new hot stuff. And then regular event. This is something most people miss. Every day you get 20 astral duelets every day with a max of 120. So once you get 120, you won't earn any more until you spend. This is a free shop, the free money that they give you. The things that have a weekly limit refresh every week. Make sure you spend those duelets because it's free. And once the week is up, anything that you missed out on buying will be refreshed. Don't miss out on spending your duelets. If you want to link your Discord, you can link your Discord here. Doing so will get you. And community wards. If you click the follow button, you actually don't have to follow unless they've fixed it. If you just click on the follow button, come back here, you will get these rewards. Under events, on the ribbon up here, there was one more event. Unfortunately, I completed it today just before I recorded, and I did not know this, but the game then takes it off your menu, so I cannot show it to you right now. If I find a picture, I will include a picture of it here. It is an event where there are three different trees that lead into one weapon skin. To get the weapon skin, you have to complete everything on each of the branches of the tree. Each branch has three different sections, and each section has three different goals. These are relatively easy goals to complete, and you may have them already done without realizing it, but you have to claim them still. So if you have never gone to this screen, then make sure you do so because you can see what you're missing or you may have already completed. All right, we're not even done yet. If we go back into Stardust of the Advent, if we go in and click on trend, this is the regular shop. This is where you will spend those Christian if you spend real money. You can see how each skin pack will look, whether it's female or male, by clicking on this these icons here for male and female. You may think it doesn't change much, but some of the costumes are vastly different depending on whether you're a male or whether you are a female. If we go up to territory, this is where you can buy the glass house package. And then if you click on bundle, you can see other bundles that are available. Decoration pack are territory packs that are just decorative. And then you have different vending machine skins that you can also get. Meta pass. This is a subscription. It's $5 every 30 days. 
and you get stuff. You can look through and see if any of this stuff is worth it for you. For me, I did not pull the trigger on it. And then other, this is something most people overlook. You see this box? It costs one energy link. You could get one a day and they give you 50 Mitsuko marks just for buying it. Do not miss that. And then you have the Chrysalis token, which none of us have been able to figure out what it does because you could change your appearance in the mirror already. I'm wondering if this is, if eventually they're gonna want you to buy this to change your appearance in the mirror. So just keep an eye out for that. And then this is also Christian for you to rename yourself. So if you want to change your player name, this is how you do it. And then you get cosmetic tokens various different ways through the game. And you can use those to unlock different cosmetics and territory items. Once you get used to knowing what you're looking for, you can use the shortcuts over here. However, keep in mind that not everything we went over has a shortcut. You still have to learn how to navigate there from wherever you're at. That was a quick, or at least as quick as I could, tutorial on the menu and what I personally find to be the key things to look out for. Maybe you found a new menu item. If there's something new that you didn't realize was there, I would love to hear in the comments down below what that thing was. And then as always, if there is something that I missed, please feel free to let me know. Like and subscribe to be notified of all future content. Adventurers, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.